We've been looking at this picture both in the smart board in the classroom and on the easel just outside my classroom door. With everything that we've learned so far, energy, energy transformations, potential energy, kinetic energy, and now thermal energy, we really are beginning to focus now on um, how does Earth gain thermal energy? So the reason this is important is because we have this process of heating and cooling in the atmosphere that helps to keep our planet a nice comfortable temperature at which we can all enjoy living. Without Earth's atmosphere, the temperatures on Earth would go from like 120 degrees during the day to like 100 and 89 degrees Celsius at night. I mean, the, the temperatures would just be crazy. So how is it that the Earth gains thermal energy and that the Earth warms? But to begin with, let's just look at this process. We need to understand that solar radiation heats the Earth. So solar radiation heats the surface of the Earth. The surface of the Earth absorbs thermal radiation from the sun. You can see this happening in this little sketch. And so this is absorption going on. Then the ground heats up, not just at the surface, the ground heats up deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and then sideways. And, and, and this sideways heat transfer is called conduction. So we have solar radiation, absorption, conduction, and then the Earth also radiates heat back out into the, into the atmosphere. So let's just look at this sketch. And so we have solar radiation coming from the sun. Solar radiation is absorbed in the form of thermal energy. So thermal absorption occurs. Solar radiation heats the surface of the Earth, and then the surface of the Earth absorbs thermal energy. This thermal energy then is conducted, or conduction occurs, thermal conduction, which is um, energy moving through solid matter. And then finally, we also have energy being released from the surface of the planet, which is what we call thermal radiation. Finally, we have convection, which is thermal radiation warming the air above the ground and then that warm air rising while we have cool air that sinks and from the atmosphere and comes in underneath the rising warm air to push the warm air up. We'll take a look at the paragraphs in the reading. The paragraphs in the middle of the reading are very important about conduction and convection and we will look at those as we read through these paragraphs in the next several days. So please get this sketch on a piece of paper and you don't have to put as many arrows as I have here but get this sketch on a piece of paper and, and get, the, get the different parts of this process marked please and then we will Read the first paragraph. 